uh, what the service to bless the Lord for this. I would say, I'm, I'm happy. Because he has done so much, so much, so much for us. Amen. You and your family. Were not affected by coronavirus, you are well in load, so you have so many reasons to clap, to shout, to worship, to praise for God. Amen. Amen. This is Apostolic Revival Church, and uh, we want to welcome you to our first Sunday service. Amen. Before everything, I want us to. To pray, to open your hands. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Before you have never seen another God, and after you, Father, your power is unlimited. Father, we bless you because you are an everlasting Father. Father, we bless you for this opportunity. We bless you for power. We bless you for the preacher. We bless you for choir. We bless you for angel. We bless you for the people. Take over, Father. Take over. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Can somebody clap for God again one more time? Amen. 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 Um, it's our first service from coronavirus. It's our first service since we have came back to the church. Amen. And uh, I want to just tell somebody, you are not. I want to let you know that we shall. Amen. Paul said, nothing will stop me to praise God. Either challenges, either problems, I will praise Him. Amen. Amen. So, I want to welcome Pastor Joa. To move with us, then I will come back. Amen. Father, we give you praise. We worship you, we exalt your holy name. You are Lord of God. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome your presence in this place. Into the worship. Join us as we worship you this morning. Come and worship with us. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We welcome your presence in this sanctuary this morning. We declare that you are Lord of God. Bless your holy name. Oh, 
begin to speak to God right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We love you, our Father. We love you, our God. What a wonderful God you are. What a powerful, what a mighty God you are. Somebody speak to him right now. This is the reason why you came into his house. You came because the king has been good to you. You came because the king has been faithful to you. You came because the king has been loving towards you. Speak to him right now and tell him, oh God, I've never seen a God like you. I came to love upon your name. I came to bless your name, Jesus. What a mighty God you are. What a faithful God you are. What a wonderful God you are. What a kind God you are. What a loving God you are. I love upon your name, Jesus. So somebody speak to him right now. King Nanamanti Kiribakanda. We can be an amount to give you. Nanaba can't give you can, Nanaba. Or somebody speak with him. Or somebody love upon the name of Jesus. What a great thing he needs. Speak to him right now. You can go in that kind of language and let him know you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the first and the last, the beginning and the end. There is no one like you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Karabana Nanamaska. Father in the name of Jesus, we declare, O oh God, upon this Sunday morning, Father, we are operating under open heavens. We ask you, O oh Papa, in the name of Jesus, we lose our heavens to hope oh God. Yes, Father God, may this be the place of divine visitation. May this be the place where your power will be demonstrated in our lives, O oh God. And yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, because we came upon the service to hope oh God, may your power be demonstrated unto us. Yes, O oh God, arise, mighty Father, to reveal your power. For those of God that are joining us also by Facebook to hope oh God, by a huge mighty Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, may their lives be transformed, O oh God of glory. Father, we expect from your presence, O oh God. Father, we look unto you, O oh God. May this be our day where, Lord, we receive mightily from your presence. And yes, O oh God, we shall never remain the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me have you say amen. Let me have you say amen. Let me have you say a mighty amen. Oh, glory, glory to God. Please, you may have your seats in the house of the Lord. This was uh, a standing up to be a actual service, um, and it is an actual service, but I mean physical, because uh, may, more so, it was going to be online, glory to God. Amen. But the Lord knows how to draw his people, hallelujah. Amen. It's been a while since we had a first service in this house, since the corona service, rather the coronavirus infected the earth and so on, and now God has made it possible that we can have this service. Amen. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Amen. And just going forward, this is how it's going to be. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's going to be first service and second service from right here. Amen. 
and those who are joining from online, you're most welcome as well. And just know this is going to be our order by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, Almighty, Amen. Amen. I want you to open the, in your Bible the book of Ezekiel, chapter number 37. I only have a couple of minutes to speak into your life. And today also we have a powerful man of God all the way from DR Congo. Hallelujah. And being a blessing to us in Nairobi, Kenya, Pastor Chris. Can you put your hands together for Pastor Chris? Who is also together with us in the sun. It's good to have you with us. Uh, together with Jean Luc. God bless you. As you are with us, you will be blessed even as you come also to the second service. Amen. Amen. Ezekiel chapter number 37. I hope you came with the Bible. You have your Bible with you? Yes. Ezekiel chapter number 37. I want to begin reading from verse number 1. It says the word of God. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. And he caused me to pass by them all around. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And indeed, they were very dry. Mm. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. Again, he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. I say, the Lord God, to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. I will put sinews on you, and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, then you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise. And suddenly a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. Indeed, as I looked, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them over, but there was no bread in them. Also, he said to me, Prophesy to the bread, prophesy, son of man, and say to the bread, Thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds for bread, and breathe on these lanes that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and bread came into them. And they lived and stood upon their feet an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, These bones are the whole house of Israel. They indeed say our bones are dry and our hope is lost and we ourselves are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up from your graves bring you into the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened the graves for my people and brought you up from your graves. I will put my spirit in you and you shall live and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. Let us pray, Father, thank you for your word. Speak to us as we hearken to it. May this be our word of total life change and transformation. Grant us open eyes and ears, minds and hearts, O oh God, that this word may fully be of benefit to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you say amen? Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are standing in a month that is known as the month of divine, demonstrated divine goodness. Hallelujah. Say it with me, this is my month this is my of demonstrated divine goodness. Glory to God. Amen. God that we serve is a God that desires to show his goodness in the life of his people. Therefore, as Moses said, I want to know you, Lord. God said to Moses, look Moses, I will put you in a cliff of the rock besides me, and I will cause all my goodness to pass before you. Hallelujah. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord. And as God said it, so also he did it in the life of Moses. God said to me, the month of August, I want my goodness to pass before you. Hallelujah. 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 I 
will put my goodness right in front of you. That means in this month you will see the goodness of God. Amen. I want to say to somebody, this month will not be over. Yes. Say, uh, say, August. August. I arrest you. I, arrest you. I, demand, it. I demand it. The goodness you must show me. The goodness you must show me. I will see it I in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I'm not sure whether that came from your lips or it came from your heart. You can be the judge. Hallelujah. But I pray to heaven that it came from your heart. Now, see, the Lord is a God that wants his people to enjoy goodness. But I want to speak to somebody in the next couple of moments concerning resurrection of goodness in your life. Because many of God's people do not understand what is happening in their lives. They will say, I know I serve a good God. Am I right? I know I serve a God who gives his word. Am I right? But they will ask the question, why is it that I am serving this kind of a God, yet still in my life, this is what I can say? I want to say to somebody here today, if God worked it for Israel, that he brought them out of their graves, he brought them out of the place they said, our hope has been lost, and he put them back in their land. I want to say to somebody, God is about to want a new thing in your life this month of August. Amen. <laughs> there is about to be a resurrection of goodness in your life. Amen. When I say resurrection of goodness, that means that before the resurrection, there must be a battle. Today, as you are seated here, I am praying that heaven is located in your life. Amen. Because many of God's people, their goodness has been buried. <laughs> they will be walking on the earth. They will be struggling on the earth. They will be doing everything on the earth. They will be praying, fasting, everything, everything. But still, they are not able to possess what belongs to them. Because there are powers that have been engaged that their goodness must be buried. As I'm speaking to you right now, I have prayed over countless people whose destinies have been buried. It's possible for you to be walking on the earth. But your life has been buried a long time ago. They say to the master, uh, let me go and first bury my father, then I will come and follow. He said, let the dead bury their own death. Understand? Why would Jesus say, let the dead bury their own death? How can a dead person bury a dead person? So it means there are people who are walking on the earth. They look as if they are alive, but they are actually dead. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Are you understanding me? Yes. There are people walking on the earth. But the things that belong to their lives, you see, when I speak about God demonstrating His goodness in your life, you cannot have that goodness demonstrated as long as some things have been buried in your life. That's why I say hey, in this service, there's about to be a resurrection of goodness in your life. Somebody is here, there are some things that buried from your life, they will come back alive. Uh, are you hearing me? It's possible your life has been buried. I pray for so many people. As I'm praying for them, God will say, this one, they're not here. Bring them out of the grave before you can minister to them. So I must command fast. I call you out of that grave. I command you now, come here. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I pray for a certain young lady. And when I pray for her, this woman, she was about 40 years, not married, struggling in life. And as she took the prayers, God began to, com to, to, uh, to, to command him to command her spirit. And as I said, commanded a spirit, the woman began to scream. Because she could see a glorious person coming towards her. She could not understand who she was seeing. Until God said to her, what you're looking at is actually yourself. Today, wherever you've been buried, you're coming out. Amen. I said your goodness is coming out. Amen. Say my goodness. Amen. Say my goodness. Amen. Am I... Am, am I, uh... <laughs> I should not convince you to speak like this. It must be something that is very emphatic out of the spirit. Say, my goodness, you must be resurrected. Say, my goodness, you must come back to life. This is not a service where you are whispering as if you are suggesting to the devil. This is a service where you roll the thunder because you are demanding what belongs to you. Hallelujah. People have their education. That is goodness that belongs to you. It's power. They cannot be educated. I pray here, Prophet Don was here. For this woman, in her family, almost no one, everybody, not educated, struggling, struggling. And when I pray for her, they say, "This woman, we have the ones who have collected her education. She only reached the primary school level, which is most elementary. Hallelujah! 
No further education. But the powers that are sitting around, they say, we are the ones who have taken everything that belongs to her. Her education collected. She has speakers, they collected them. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, somebody, a goodness is coming back to life. Uh, if you can follow according to this one, I say the goodness is coming back to life. Because God can tell you, I want to demonstrate my goodness in your life. But if it has been buried, it must first be resurrected. That's why he said the prophet, he said, prophet, I want you first to prophesy. I want you first to make the declaration that these things, they must happen. So my people can enjoy what belongs to them. Somebody, you're about to recover. Ah, you're about to recover. I said you're about to recover. So it's possible even your marriage, it can be buried. Hallelujah. You are, you are waiting for a long time to get married. You say, eh, one day I will get married, but somebody already married it. Do you understand that in the kingdom of darkness, they have a formula by which they will make small coffee? Somebody says small coffee. Whether it is big or small, it is not a problem. A coffin is a coffin. Am I right? The one for a small baby who died before they could leave, coffin. The one for a big man, 500 kilogram, coffin. Hallelujah. Amen. Tiny coffin, coffin. Big coffin, coffin. So they were constructed and they were set. As they buried the coffin, they buried the destiny of this kind of a person. That's what I said today. Any coffin they buried with 12 is yours. It's coming out. Amen. I said the grave is about to be opened. Amen. I said the ground is about to open its mouth. Point your hand to the ground and say, Oh ground, I command you. Whatsoever you swallow from my life, Vomited by fire. Vomited by fire. Vomited by fire. Vomited by fire. In the name of Jesus. That kind of a prayer is very powerful. It is very important to deliver your life. Hallelujah. Because some things they have been kept in the ground. Some of you, because this is Africa, and Africa has many things, and the whole world has many things. They will bury even they take the hair from the head. I think you understand it. They will shave it. Some of you, you woke up in the morning time. You say, ah, one side was shaved. You say, who shaved me now? Was there a Baba in the night? I don't remember meeting Baba. But my head, <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Whoever shaved your hair and buried it, today you're going to recover in the name of Jesus. I said, say, I shall recover. I shall. Say, I shall recover. Because all of these things will be done. Sometimes the, anything that is good in your life, it can be bad. Are you understanding me? Any good thing. You can bury your life. That means your destiny. You're supposed to be a great man on the earth, but you cannot live the great life. You're supposed to be a great woman on the earth, but you cannot live it because it's been buried. You can bury even your children. The ones you're supposed to have. So somebody who should be having this particular children, this number of children, they can have only one child. I pray for a couple, I pray for them. The Lord revealed to me that <laughs> there are two more children they're supposed to have. They only have one child. More than five years, still waiting for a child. But the enemy was holding them in captivity. Today, anywhere house holding what is yours, we have to break up. I said we have to break up. It will have to break up. After praying for them, their children were brought out of captivity. And suddenly, the next moment, the man brought his wife and said, As you can see, the stomach was up to there. Up to where? Up to there. Up to there. As you can see, the Lord has demonstrated a faithfulness. And in no time, the child was born. And I believe by now, because it's been a while, there must be number three as well. What they should be having, the enemy was saying you cannot have that. But I could see there are great destinies they're supposed to have in their family, yet the enemy was holding them. That's what I said today. Somebody, the children are going free. Somebody here, your husband has been buried, they're coming out. Yeah. Is, is the husband a good thing? Yes. Is the husband a good thing? Yes. Is the wife a good thing? Yes. Are children good things? Yes. I want you to think about good things which you could have in your life. And sometimes you find you're struggling so much to have that good thing, but it is never yet coming into your hands. Because in the kingdom of darkness, there is the engineering that certain things, certain people should not have them. And it's not because uh, they need to work harder to find them. 
But it's because it's already been planted underground. I say what is under the ground will have to yield. Will have to yield. It will have to yield. Say my virtues. My virtues. Buried in the ground. Hear my voice. Resurrect by fire. Resurrect by fire. Resurrect by fire. In the name of Jesus. May it be done for you in Jesus' mighty name. I said your goodness is coming back up. I said the goodness is coming back up. I said the goodness is coming back up. He said that I, I, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Mm. Praise the Lord. Is there anybody who believes to see something good in this life? Yeah. Goodness in this life. Yeah. I'm sure everybody sitting here, you want a good life. Anyone wants a bad life? Then adventure. You're here and you want a bad life. Maybe you could start wherever you are. I thank God. I didn't call you for service, but you came. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. That is a resurrection of a service. By fire, by force. Amen. This was going to only be online. But look here you are. Mm. That means you love God. Amen. You love church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is making a statement. I pray for this woman. They took what belongs to her. They cut the hair. And they keep the hair in a cave. As I was praying for her, the hair refused to grow. So she was wondering, I need to use better product. So she will use other product. I think women you understand. You say, okay, they told you we have now something new. This can too, or something like that. <laughs> All the nice ones. Put it. It will grow. She tried everything, it was not growing. When I prayed for her, God showed me the hair had been cut and they put it in a cave. So the goodness of her life was buried in that cave. And I began to demand it. They must let it go. They must let it go. By the time that prayer was done, the hair began to grow back again. Amen. I'm speaking to somebody here. Some of them, they collected your joy. That's why you're living on the earth. You can never ever live a happy life. You always, your food is tears. That's what the Bible says. My tears became my food. You know you can eat tears. Or you don't know. You have, you, have, you have eaten your taste before. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Because when it comes down, you taste it. It's salty. Hallelujah. The person is crying so much, they have no time to worry whether they're eating the tears or not. They just keep on eating it up. <laughs> my tears became my food. I'm speaking to somebody here. The power that makes your tears your food is about to live your life. Amen. Your life shall be lived in joy upon the earth. Amen. This is what God wants for you, not tears. Every day you're crying. Your money you can be borrowed. As I'm speaking to somebody right now, you're wondering where are my finances. But you can be borrowed. So today, let a resurrection begin to take place. That good things will come back in your life. Then my father. Whatever my finances were borrowed, today I demand it by fire, by force. They must be resurrected. Say, you my finances. I want you to speak like you know what you're speaking about. Because if you are not speaking with understanding, it will just be a statement coming out of your mouth. But you must speak like one who knows that there is something that belongs to me that has been held and I must have it. Is there anybody here who believes you must be a millionaire? Are they present in this house? Yes. I am the one. Sometimes your millions is not because you're not working hard. Because if it's working hard, you know you're working hard. Right? Mm. If it's typing, you know you're typing. Right? And all those things, you know you have done them. But still, something is keeping you back from what belongs to you. So what you must do is you must put prayer fire. So what has been held from your life, it must be released. I pray for my own brother. When praying for him, God showed me. The life of this man is already bound. They have bound his life. It was witchcraft that had been done. They have bound his life and they have kept it under the lake. Hallelujah. Amen. Under the lake. This is somebody who was living a life of struggle. So much struggle. It seemed like it did not break through. Every type of help we were giving him, it was not working. Until God said to me, you must go and minister to him in deliverance. So I went and I began to pray over him. And this is what God revealed. 
his destiny has been locked under the lake. So God said, now send the angel because his destiny and his life, it must come back up. Today I'm speaking to somebody. There's an angel that is about to locate your finances. There's an angel that is about to locate your wealth. There's an angel that is about to locate your prosperity. There's an angel that is about to locate your joy. There's an angel that is about to locate your peace. There's an angel that is about to locate your health. An angel that is about to locate <laughs> your marriage. An angel that is about to locate your children. You know, even children, you can be having girl, 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 no boy. You wait forever, you never have the boy. Oh boy, 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 no girl. Hallelujah. Amen. Because there are powers that can lock it. That you will never have the gender you're wanting to have in your family. So today somebody has been having boy, they never had God. They shall have God. Amen. Who am I talking to? Amen. Who am I talking to? Amen. The one who has never had God, they shall have God. And the one who's never had boy, they shall have boy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then my father, my, father my, goodness, my goodness, must come back up. The kingdom of darkness has special places where they have buried the things that belong to God's people. So as I'm speaking to you, some of you, what is yours has been buried in a tree. The angel of God will locate it. I said they will locate it. Because <laughs> I prayed for a certain young lady. After praying for her, I said to her, there's going to be commotion and drama that it will happen in your village. Because I told her, there's so much witchcraft that has been going on. And some things will just begin to fall, fall, fall apart. After the prayers, the next week she came and spoke to me. I said, after my prayers, there's a certain tree. No one touches it in my village. But after the prayers, the tree came down. Amen. <laughs> Are you understanding me? In that tree, they had hidden their life. Because some people, their lives are hidden in trees. Today, any tree having your life will have to let it go. Amen. Any tree having your finances will have to let it go. Amen. You must understand how the kingdom of darkness is diabolic. They will do everything. They will try everything to make sure you will never make it in life. But the Holy Spirit is here to help you. Say, my father, I must recover. Say it again, my father, I must recover. The tree fell down. And after it fell down, everybody's breakthrough suddenly began to manifest. The one who did not have the job has the job now. The one who was sick now is feeling okay. Am I speaking to somebody here? Mm. Say, any tree, any tree holding the goodness of my life, the wherever, you are, wherever you are, I send thunder lightning. I send thunder lightning. I send thunder lightning. Crumble and fall in the name of Jesus. If you're going to pray as if you're suggesting, it's your own life. When I pray, I don't pray like I'm joking. I pray like a lion. Hallelujah. I draw like a lion because I understand. I am not suggesting to the devil. I am demanding it. See that here are people who should live very great lives. But the devil has reduced your life. Today is a good time for your life to be restored. For you to start having good things in your life. Wherever your job was buried, it's coming out. Amen. I said it's coming out. Amen. So they can bury it in the tree. They can bury it in the mountain. They can bury it under the world. How many people have I prayed for? They are too many. What belongs to them has been buried from under the world. They start buried from under the world. The finances buried under the walls. These are people who are living in major debts. If you're sitting here and you're in debt, and I'm giving you prayer points, and you're, you are whispering the prayer point, you are helping your enemies to oppress your life. You are a collaborator. But I refuse to collaborate. Say it again, I refuse to collaborate. So these powers will work hard to make sure what is yours is kept away. I pray for so many people, the marital ring is buried from under the walls. They're waiting to get married upon the earth, but marriage becomes elusive. Today, your marital ring will come out. It will come out. Look, I'm talking to you now. You are still thinking, I'm talking to your neighbor. You still talking to you. 
Where did your thunderous amen went go to? Is it in the ICU? Do you need me to deliver you so you can have an amen in your mouth? Hallelujah. Amen. So I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. To collaborate. Collaborate. So much goodness. Buy from under the works. So much goodness. Buy under the rock. Buy in the cave. Buy in the woods. Buy in the river. Buy in the grave. Some of you even have, I'm speaking now. Somebody died. Died. And they had already said, you can never see anything good. So that means they collected their goodness, they died, and they went to the grave. Today, the grave shall be opened up. Amen. I said the grave shall open up. Amen. And your goodness is coming back to life. Amen. I'm speaking to somebody. What am I going to do here? <laughs> By the time you're dreaming, you see dead people in your dreams. What are you thinking you're seeing? Dead people, graves, coffins, and all of these things. What is happening? He's telling you there is something that belongs to you which the spirit of death is holding and contending and is saying you cannot have these things. Today, they're all coming out. Amen. I say they're coming out. Amen. I say they're coming out. Pray with people. Education, burning in the grave. This woman, she could not be educated. The grandmother died. And the grandmother said, you cannot progress. You cannot advance. I have made sure you are not moving forward. So as I prayed with her, the power of God began to stir in the grave. She is in the village. That's what I'm talking to you right now. It does not matter you sit here. Whether the grave is in South Africa, whether it's in your village, whether it's in the US, whether it's in Asia, wherever it is, the power of God is able to locate that grave. It shall suddenly open up. That's what God said in the world. He said, I will open up your graves and cause you to come up of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. What is God speaking about? Because it's in your own Bible. Say my Bible. Right. I will cause you to come up from your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. So he's speaking to people who can listen. But God is giving them an understanding that something about your life has been powered and I want to bring it back to life. So I'm going to send my power and I will open the grave. When the grave has opened up, you will live again. I'm speaking to somebody you're about to live again. You're about to have your finances back in your life. You're about to have your marriage back in your life. You're about to have your education back in your life. You're about to have your peace and your joy back in your life. Hallelujah. Some of you in your past have been bad. They're about to come out. This woman, I pray for her. Everything suddenly began to unfold. Everything unfolded until she went to the nation. Everything unfolded. This they were living in abject poverty. But God delivered them from that stitches and even put a nice car in their old family. You may be here, you're thinking, how can my life ever improve? Look at the deaths of Karen. Today we are canceling those deaths. Amen. I said deaths are coming to an end. Amen. They are coming to an end. Amen. And somebody is about to rise to the millionaire status. Amen. Is being a millionaire a good thing for you? Is being, mar being married a good thing for you? Yes. Being married, is it good for you? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Being happy, is it good for you? Yes. It's good. Yes. Or you like to just be sick so people can come and see you. You say, oh, you're sorry, you have brought you some fruits. Don't bring me the fruits. I said to somebody, by the time the doctor knows your name, there's a problem. The doctor must not know your name. If you are delivering baby, that's okay. If you are going to pick somebody delivering baby, that's okay. But if you're going to the doctor and the doctor knows you, even they call you, they tell you, you need to come for the appointment. You are late for the appointment. Something is wrong. God is going to give somebody perfect help. Amen. You are here, you are from the online platform. God is about to demonstrate that is able to work these things in your life. Amen. Say, my father, my father, I am ready. So what must happen for me to recover what is mine? We see God speaking to Ezekiel and telling him, I want you to start to prophesy. Mm. Prophesy and speak to the dry bones. Glory to God. Amen. Speak to the dry bones. Somebody, the bones you need to speak to today. 
Say, my father, my father I, am ready. I am ready. Look at the areas of your life where you say it's dead. That's the area we want to pray about right now because it's coming back to life. Amen. Look at the areas where you say, I am struggling too much in this area. I don't think I should struggle like this. Look at the areas where you say it is dry. You say nothing is happening in this department of my life. That is the department we want to deal with because this focus cannot die before you have seen divine goodness. Before divine goodness has begun to be manifested in your life. Am I speaking to somebody? Somebody say that I'm ready. I am ready. Rise in the feet where you are. You are joining us from the online platform. Cooperate as well. Sometimes even you can stand in your house. No one is going to ask you. It's your house. And start walking around and saying, My father, I must recover. God said, Professor. So the one thing God needs from you is a word from your lips. You must contend for goodness that you believe to see in your life. Amen. Amen. Say, my father, Amen. open my eyes. Amen. Let me see the locked areas of my life. And let me fight to recover in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say amen. amen. I don't want you to pretend. There are areas you know very well. It looks like a locked door. That is the area that must be open. Am I speaking to you? Yes. Open the motor about one minute. I want you to start praying fire fire prayers. Target those areas. Don't pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the understanding. Mention it with words you can understand. Mention it with what you can understand. Don't 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 pray with tongues. Use what? Come on, somebody. Speak to God and pray like Father, like Father. I feel so that to be strong. The area of my finances and prophesy. My finances must be unlocked in the name of Jesus. I will start with open your mouth. I prophesy. My job and my business must be open. I must access what belongs to me. Open your mouth and begin to prophesy. Say, I prophesy. My body is taking divine health. My body is receiving divine living. I prophesy, I am receiving my own children. I prophesy, I am receiving the gender of children of his eyes. I am about that prophesy, I prophesy that house has born into heart is coming to me. I prophesy that car I want to drive is coming to me. I prophesy the word of God to receive is coming to me. I prophesy. The anointing of water to possess, I am receiving it. I prophesy the nations are born to trouble you and travel to them. I prophesy the nations are born to preach the gospel, I will preach to them. Open your mother and prophesy. 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 I prophesy my generation is coming to Jesus. I prophesy my parents, my spirit. My family, they are coming to Jesus in the name of Jesus. I want somebody to prophesy. Open your mouth and prophesy, prophesy. We shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. I prophesy in my family. Death will not touch my family. I prophesy. Long life shall be our portion in my family, in my generation, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and prophesy. I prophesy. I refuse to live as Jesus. I shall live in trouble. I shall live in justice. I shall be happy. I shall be proud. I will be able to do this life. I shall be sad. Failure has been Success becomes my portion in the name of Jesus. I prophesy. I refuse to live in divinity. I prophesy. I am entering a life of greatness in the name of Jesus. Somebody prophesy. Somebody prophesy. Somebody prophesy. Somebody prophesy. Somebody prophesy. Raise your hands to heaven. Raise your hands to heaven. Say, every power. Every power. I want you to roar like thunder. Every power. Every power. Holding my destiny in captivity. Holding my destiny. Hear my voice. Your time is over. Release it by fire. Release it by fire. Release it by fire. In the name of Jesus. Say, every man did. I Power, power. Sosa Rasa Nibana, holding my 
my star in captivity. Your time is over. We are listed by fire. We are listed by fire. We are listed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Say I demand it. Send me power from the water. Holding my destiny. Holding my virtues. Your time is over. Thunder fire. Of the Holy Ghost. Fire. I demand it. My goodness, resurrect my fire. I demand it. My finances, resurrect my fire. I demand it. My stars, resurrect my fire. I demand it. My marital life, my marital partner, my marriage, resurrect my fire. I demand it. My portion. My properties, my businesses, my jobs, my cars, my houses, is a red by fire in the name of Jesus. Say, help is a telling warehouse. I'm holding my goodness in captivity. Your sign is over. Break up my fire. Break up my fire. Break up my fire. Break up my fire. Holy Spirit, locate me now. Holy Spirit, 
dislocate me now. As your hands are lifted, I release the power of the Holy Spirit. I say right now, let the chains break. Let the chains break. Some of you will be able to stand on your feet because the power of the Holy Spirit is locating you wherever you are. I release an anointing right now, everywhere in this sanctuary. Every chains and yokes that held your life, break, 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 fight, fight, they go, 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 they go, they here. There are powers of witchcraft that have been holding your life even to this morning you're here. I said today is your day of freedom. Wherever you are, the fire of God is about to change your life. I release the fire right now. Holy Ghost, look at them now. Look at them now. Look at them now. Look at them now. They ghost. They ghost. There's a fire. There's a fire filling you. There's a fire filling you. Holy Ghost, look at them now. Number one, they ghost. Fire. Number two, they ghost. Fire. Number three, they ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Touch Holy Ghost. Touch Holy Ghost. Touch Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. The same is touch. The same is touch. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. Keep me and sleep. Say Holy Ghost. Say it, Holy Ghost. Look at me now. Say it again, Holy Ghost. Look at me now. Keep me and sleep. I said I release the power. I release the power. I release the power. I have missed the power. I said every power that held your life, they're leaving you now. Wherever you are, take a deep breath in and out. Breathe in and out. <sighs> breathe in and out. <sighs> Make it forceful. Breathe in and out. Because as you breathe in and out, I will release the power of the Holy Spirit. I said every power by witchcraft, sorcery, divination, every satanic power holding your life, I break it in the name of Jesus. I said I command every one of spirits, loose and come out. Which your spirit, loose and come out. I say right now, it goes. I release the power. I release the power. Somebody is feeling as if your feet they are beginning to be wobbly. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Because God is breaking the chains from your life. Keep your hands lifted. Wherever you are, I say, I break the chains from your hands. I break the chains from your feet. I break the chains from your life in the name of Jesus. Say, somebody you're here. There's somebody you're here. The Holy Spirit is liberating you from bitterness. Break it up. Break it up. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I release the power of the Holy Spirit. Come on, bitterness. Come out. Come out. I said, come out. Come out. Spirit of bitterness. Come out. I said, you will not live that bitter life. I said, I said, you lose right now, whatever you are. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. Receive his touch. Receive his touch. Receive his touch. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Everyone in this house. Take the goodness back. 
take a goodness back. Take a goodness back. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. That's power. That's power. That's power. That's power. Wherever you are, I release the angel of the Lord. I say, whatsoever they took away from you, we send it back. We send it back. What you're making declaration by your lips, we send it now. I say, we send it now. I say, we send it now. I will listen to you. Take it up. Take it up. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I'm telling you, the heavens are open. Some of you are feeling the power of the Holy Spirit on top of your head. You feel an electricity that is passing through you because God is giving you back what they took away from you. I say, every grave where the planet of Zeus, Today it is opened up. I said the goodness is coming back. We see the goodness back. I said we see the goodness back. Somebody is feeling like electricity on your hands. And it's because the enemy has been fighting a ministry that you carry in your life. A ministry of healing and deliverance. But as I'm speaking right now, the Holy Spirit is restoring that ministry in you. And you shall see God use you to live and let you speak. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. Whenever you open your mouth, say, My Father, I receive what belongs to me. And I declare, it can never be taken away from my life in the name of Jesus. Say Amen. Amen. Say Amen. Amen. Say Amen. 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 One and all, my friend, in this place, I want you to take your offer. Take your offer. Let's give to the Lord. Take your offer. Let's give to the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Take your offer. Let's give to the Lord. Take it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Also, a journey from online. Go ahead and take your offering. Let us give to the Lord. My goodness, somebody, you need to put something on the altar that says, Every goodness that was planted for my life is my time, it must be resurrected. I want to make a declaration by your offering that steps or touches upon this altar. Whatsoever you have declared is coming back to life in the name of Jesus. You're online, the details are being provided for you on how you can give the offering, but if I can mention it to you by an anticipation, eight, number four, four. Eight double six four six four. Let me repeat it again. Eight double six four six four. A pesa premium and account. You can write time offering, seed faith, thanksgiving, and so on. PayPal a magipen two seven at gmail dot com. A magipen a m a d i p e n two seven at gmail dot com. I'm not sure whether they can zoom to the screen, but you can see that you want to directly also deposit to the church account. Use those details that are there. And besides that, if I can quickly mention to those joining on Facebook and on YouTube as well, check any of my previous YouTube videos. You will see that all the speakers are mentioning and you can use that as a means to give the offering. Go ahead and do it right now because God is doing something in your life. Raise your offering as you're here right now. I want you to speak to heaven right now. I want you to tell the king, my father, my father, as my offering touches the altar, I refuse to be among the seers of good without manifestation. I must be included in the book of seers of good with manifestation. Open your mouth, raise your offering and speak to heaven. Tell him my father. Remove my name from the book of seers of good without manifestation. And put it into the book of seers of good with manifestation. I refuse to live a life of witnessing other people live a great life. I will live it myself. Speak to God. Speak to God. Raise that offering to heaven. And even as you raise it to heaven, I speak and declare, I receive this offering. I receive it in the name of Jesus. And I declare, let even now heaven be open. I receive the time. I receive the seed faith. I receive the thanksgiving. With the offering, and I speak it, may the heavens be open over you. And I speak it, may God fulfill his promise in his word that he will bless you with more than you can contain, that he will enlarge your boundaries, that you will overflow with the blessing 
that he will rebuke the devourer, that he will put favor on you, so you will be counted as the favor of the Lord. May this blessing come upon your life, and as we can decree as I receive what you lay upon the altar, may also heaven now, in the name of Jesus, fulfill according to this word, that none of the goodness is in the grave. You're walking in resurrected goodness. You're walking in the goodness of the Lord, in the land of the living. May this be done upon your life. Somebody remember you receive it. Receive it in Jesus' name. Say amen. amen. Quickly come with the offering drop in, in the offering baskets that are here at the front via YouTube, via PayPal. Go ahead and use those details that I have given to you. Some of you already know how to do that. Do it. And if you don't know, quickly go to my YouTube, Apostle Paul A. Williams. Check any of the videos. Under there, in the video description, you will find all the ways via the personal pay bill, via Sendwave, Wildrunning, PayPal, and so on, and give your offering in this way. Somebody just raise your hands wherever you are. Speak to God and ask Him that starting today, you will witness His goodness in the land of the living. Speak to Him before you wind up this service. Service is coming to an end, and the second service will begin just about right away. I speak to him and tell him, Lord, it's my time to see your goodness in the land of the living. Arise, let it be manifested in my life. And even as you speak us, may it be done in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, say amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Look at your neighbor around you and tell the neighbor, as you look at me, you're about to see divine goodness displayed in my life. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus one more time. I still feel the anointing of the Spirit. Hallelujah. This anointing is just going to continue because in the second service, we have Pastor Chris from Congo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Peter, Peter, Peter. Look, there are some of you here, you have not been married. You are about to get married suddenly. Mm. Who am I looking to? I, I said you are going to get married suddenly. Amen. Do you understand suddenly? Yes. Before they say, look, look at this sister, look at this brother. They never get married. And you are walking around. You are walking up and down and say, this is the one that never gets married. Suddenly, you will tell them, here is my wedding invitation. I am getting married. They say, how? Is it possible? Yes. This one. They can get married. Somebody say it shall happen. Shall happen. Somebody say it shall happen. Shall happen. Because if people, people will get engaged suddenly and married suddenly. Do you know brother urgency? Do you know brother urgency? Hallelujah. <laughs> Coming with speed and saying, I have waited for you all my life. Some of you won't even believe it. Because somebody will tell you, the one that must marry. You say this must be a demon because the way it's happening so fast. Look at your neighbor, tell the neighbor, cooperate with the work of God. <laughs> Put your hands together for Jesus one more time. Ask the Holy to thank you. This is the second time. Some of you just join us just about now, but we just want to get started. Uh, just a small break and we get started. Amen. God bless you. I'll put your hands together for a post for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just quick announcements. We would like to advise everybody. We will uh, uh, advise you to just come out for about five minutes. We will just uh, sanitize until we get in place for about two minutes. And then as you're coming back, we will take the temperatures and we'll also just sanitize your hands as you come back to see it again. So in the meantime, I would like everybody who will leave the room. We will begin the room for about five minutes. 